This is going to be a quick video about basic outlet wiring, and it's really intended for beginners. So if you're a new homeowner and you've never done wiring before, this is going to be useful to you. All right, this is a drawing of what an outlet looks like in North America. It's got chrome screws on the one side, brass on the other, and a single green screw down the bottom. And the wiring has three wires in it. It's a black for hot, white is neutral, and the bare wire is known as ground. Now this first scenario we're going to take is called, I call it the end of the run, where a single wire comes into the box. And your job is just to connect all three wires to the right place on the receptacle. The green one is the ground, that gets the bare copper wire. The chrome screw gets the white wire, and the brass screw gets the black wire. Now before we go any further, let me show you some of the tools that I'm going to use here. The first is a voltage tester to make sure that I have the circuit breaker turned off so I'm not going to get shocked. Then there's pliers, a wire stripper, a flathead screwdriver, a Phillips screwdriver, and of course the outlet and cover plate. The GoPro is optional. Now I know I turned off the circuit breaker before I got started here, but I'm still going to verify that I turned the right one off using my voltage tester so that I have no voltage on any of the wires. Now I'm using the wire stripper to take off the right amount of insulation. Now I use the pliers to make a loop on the ground wire and put that on the screw, the green screw, and tighten that down. Now the black wire connects to the brass screw and the white wire connects to that silver screw. And since I'm using the push-in connectors on this receptacle, I'm going to put the screws in because they're unused and I don't want them sticking out. And then I push the wires in, tighten it down, and put the cover plate on. This is probably the easiest scenario you'll ever have to deal with, the end of the run. But now let's take a look at what happens if you're in the middle of the run, and that's the scenario I have here behind this TV. So here I've got two wires coming into the box. The power comes in and out to feed the other outlet. Now these wires all get connected the same way, but there's a little bit of a gotcha with the bare ground wires. You can't connect two ground wires to the same screw. It just, it's not allowed. So you have to do something a little bit differently. You're going to use a short piece of wire called a pigtail from that green screw and connect all three of them with a wire nut. That's code. Then you connect the white wires to the chrome screws and the black wires to the brass screws. And that's how you wire one in the middle of the run. Let's take a look. So first things first, very carefully I remove the wire nuts and I get my voltage tester to make sure, double check, that the power is off. Now I'm cutting off because I have enough wire here. I'm cutting off the previous, the twists because it's pain in the neck to untwist them. So it's much easier to just cut them if you can do it. Now, instead of a wire nut, I'm actually using one of these press in connectors. This supports up to four wires, but they're not removable. So with ground wires, they're okay. But if you ever need to change it, you have to cut it off and throw it away. And then I've got that pigtail that's got the, the little bend on it, and I put that on the green screw. Now my grounds are all connected. Next I'm going to strip the wires again with my fancy wire stripper. And I, I've seen this tool, I saw it advertised on like Instagram or something, and it was really pretty expensive, and I found it much cheaper on Amazon. I'll put the link into the video description below. And now I'm just connecting the white wires, both of them on the one side to the chrome screws. And then the black wires get connected on the other side with the brass screws. Now I could have used the press in connectors, but I decided not to do that. I wanted to put them on the screws. I generally like to put them on the screws because they're easier to remove and replace the outlet at some point. Leave any comments below with any questions you might have, and thanks for watching. 
Hey there, if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe and hit that bell icon to be the first to know when new videos are posted. Look for Handy Dad TV on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, and visit the website handydad.tv for more great ideas and information.